All right, hello, everyone. So, uh, I really, truthfully, just don't feel like, I don't know, I don't feel like streaming right now. I don't feel like twitching. I don't know what it is. Just really don't feel up for it. So, I'm going to keep the series going. I'm not going to be on Twitch. I don't know if I will be anytime soon. But, yeah, I just really have not felt like I want to do that. So, I'm not going to put myself through it if I am not feeling up for it. But I do want to keep the GM series going here with Montreal. So let's read some comments. Hab16. When you're drafting, make sure to check the grade of the players they play against. A plus means they are playing against really good players and are usually better despite their stats. And lower is worse leak. I didn't even know that existed. So thank you, Hab16. Max the River is saying that Drew Ann Suzuki and Anderson line is tearing it up in real life right now. Hell yeah, there we go. Look at that. I am predicting the future. When drafting, you can't just look at the stats. You need to look at the strength of their competition too from Cole. So thank you for that. I did not know that. It means a lot, guys. So we really don't have a good team right now. I'm going to put it blunt. <laughs> we do not. Uh, we're missing a lot of depth. I didn't really actually see any comments regarding what we should do with the free agents, but... If you look at our roster here in the system, we don't really have anyone that's going to be, you know, ready to go on the team this year. And if we look at our main roster, we are lacking depth centers, honestly. Yep, we got Jake Evans here. He maybe could be fourth line. And yeah, Jordan Wheel as well. Not ideal. So we need depth center. We also need depth wingers. Yeah, not uh, strong here. Paul Byron is got two years left okay and then right wingers we should be okay yeah so we're fine on the right side and honestly probably one of them can play the left side so i think we're more in need of centers and defensemen i do want to play byram in the nhl this year he's going to grow to be quite the player ulette is already 27 meaning he's not you know going to be growing too extravagantly but yeah we're, we're in a bit of a pickle here also, our goaltending, not ideal. We got Caden Primo, 80 overall, 76. And in the system, we got our uh, medium starter here. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what what's going on. But this team is not it. I do want to try signing some depth contracts, though, to get, you know, fill out the, the bottom there. Because there's some affordable contracts in free agency. One player I was looking at in particular, if I can... Oh, I'm supposed to start by overall. Whoops. Sort by overall, and let's go down. I wanted to pick up Tyler Flozak because he is 82 overall, a centerman, and he didn't want a whole lot of money. In fact, he wanted basically no money. Where is he? Wait, is he 83 overall? I swear I saw him here a minute ago. Don't go dis... Oh, there he is. Okay, he's 82 overall, wants 2.3 million, and he's a centerman. Third line as well, which, you know, we kind of need that. Two-way forward. Yeah, not bad. Four-star defense. Tyler Flozak, let's go. I'm going to sign you up. Hopefully, you accept. I'll offer you 2.4 for two years. Let's see what you say to that. Also, uh, address, I don't know. I was just going to call him double A, and then I stuttered, and then I didn't really, yeah. Anyway, Athena CU is also looking for a cheap contract. So is Zach Sanford here, who is a power forward. He could also, he's UFA. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. So I think he might actually be good for depth as well. So I might pick up some Zach Sanford here as well. Uh, I know you guys are probably screaming at your screens saying, what the heck are you doing? I don't know either. So I'm just kind of going with the flow right now. Bobby Ryan doesn't want a lot of money, but yeah, there's no one really, I think we might have to wait for next year's free agency to make some money moves because there's not really any massive names in free agency this year that I want to pick up per se. So... Yeah, we're just going to have to deal with it. Coburn for like $2 million. Mm, maybe. I'm tempted, actually. Maybe let's just do it. He only wants one year at... Yeah, I'll just give you exactly what you're asking. And if you don't end up playing in the NHL, playing the AHL, it is what it is. If I have to put him on waivers, I don't really care. So, yeah. Not bad. And then we've got Hoffman. Shiri, who wants 7.475. No thank you. Bufflin. Now I'm good on that. No one wants Hoffman. Even though he's only asking for 5.9. But we could maybe go for 
Stoll, no. Krejci, no. Yeah, like we're just, this isn't really what we're, what we're after right now. So I'm going to back out and hopefully we get these players. I'm just going to sim to the next season after that and put the team together. See what we got on paper. Probably going to be basically throwing this year and we got everyone. Cool. So let's simulate to next season. Go put these lines together and just see what we have. Are we going to make the playoffs this year once again? Probably not. We're in a bit of a retool slash rebuild right now. And it's going to take a little bit more time. We might be able to the season after. Well, I guess we could potentially this season. We'll have to see how it goes. But I see it as very unlikely to put it straightforward. We'll see though. Anyway, yeah. So let's put these lines together as soon as we can. Too few players. That is too damn bad. I don't care. I will sign a bunch of two-way players again to buff up that AHL team so that the younger guys will be able to get some good experience, get some W's under their belt. And I am going to do that now, actually. I'll go sign some two-way players, two-way contracts. I believe someone said to me it really doesn't make a difference about the two-way deals with the waivers. And that would blow my mind. I thought that was the whole point, is that two-way you could just move up and down freely. Apparently not. But either way, let's sign some anyway. Uh, I'm just going to stick with old habits here of signing a bunch of two-way contract players. Corey Perry. Sure, why not? I mean, he's not going to play three more years, but just in case he somehow decides to get some defense here as well. Sure. I guess I should look at the AHL team before I sign these contracts to see how many we actually need. But... Nah, that's too much effort. I'm just going to sign them anyway. Sign now, think later. There we go. Sherwood, McGinn, why not? I remember, what happened to Del Zotto? I remember he was playing for the New York Rangers and he was all right. And then he got traded to like Anaheim or something and just fell off. Like just disappeared basically. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'll just sign Goodrow one more here. And then I will leave it at that. Hopefully they sign. Actually, you know what? I'm going to advance a couple days so that we can see if they do or do not sign. And then when we go to edit our lines, we'll really see... Okay, that was quick. Marco Dono, really love that. Sherwood, accepted. Anybody else? No? People are waiting. All right, we got Ryan. We got Goudreau, Perry, McGinn. Looks like they are all coming to the team. So let's edit our lines and see what the Montreal Canadiens have this year. We got Kakanyemi, Gallagher. Okay, you know what? You know what? It's not as bad as I thought. It's not as bad as I thought. I'm going to move Suzuki up here. And I want... Where is he? Uh, I'm trying to remember who's on this line again. I think it was Suzuki, Druen, and Anderson was the plus five, right? Yeah. Would they be plus five even on the first line? Because I will give them the most minutes at a plus five if I... Ah, uh, it's plus three there. Never mind. They are sticking to the second line for now. Okay. Yep. And then we got... I Hmm. Interesting. I do want to play Gallagher on the first line, but I also kind of want to try to get a plus one up there if I can. If I move Zach Sanford up, it becomes a plus one. What's Tatar? He's a sniper. Gallagher is not a sniper. That's for sure. Uh, is the plus one worth it? I'm going to say no. Probably not. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll just leave it at zero then. That's kind of lame, but it is what it is. Yoel Armia. What if I move him up to the first line? No, that doesn't help either. Not even for Tatar? Well, actually, I want a sniper on the first line, so no, not doing that. Okay. Who has the best centers here? It probably is Armia, actually. But I don't want Hudon. The guy's a sniper, and he is not going to work out here, really. So let's check our right wingers. Do we have anyone scratched? No. I might have to call someone up to replace um, Charles Hudon because, yeah, he's a sniper. Three-star defense, fourth line. That's not going to cut it. We got Anderson. Actually, was there a center maybe? Maybe a center that's scratched? I'm just going to go to scratched and just see. Oh, no. There we go. All right. So, Victor Mete and Xavier Ouellette. So, no. That's not what I'm looking for. Oh, my gosh. This chair is so squeaky. It's ridiculous. Hmm. What can we do? What can we do? Let's check out our defense quick. Oh, boy. Uh, Coburn not, uh, not having the best chemistry there. What if we put Mete in? Okay. That gives it a zero. I'll take a zero over... What we had before, which I believe was a minus one. So maybe we'll rock these because the plus three. Byram's up to 87. Oh my word. What a beauty. Okay. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Love to see that. 
Good stuff. Okay. Well then, I, I do want to move Houdon down though. And also, I think there's a defenseman I wanted to move down there as well. Ouellette maybe? Let's go. Let's go to uh, roster moves and do that. And then, I guess we got to try to find someone to call up. Because we need... Okay, Wheel, he's at 79 actually. And Evans is at 79 too. So maybe he is listed as a third or fourth liner now. He's listed as depth forward. Three-star defense though. No thank you. What about Wheel? Wheel's got... Three-star defense. Oh, boy. Are we not going to get any better than three-star defense? He's a power forward. Three-star defense. Yikes. Okay, might be in, in trouble here. <laughs> Just maybe. We've got a... Where was he? Another two-way forward here in McGinn. Three-star. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, I guess three-star is going to have to do for now. What about Marco? Come on. Just signed you. Have decent defense. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Maybe I'll... Whoever has the best face-offs then, I suppose. 74. Goudreau's got 81. So maybe I'll just call up Goudreau. And Wheel's got 84. Welcome to the team, Mr. Wheel. You will be... Oh, he's a playmaker though. Damn it. I don't know if I want a playmaker on my fourth line, you know? You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll just call up Goudreau. He's got 81. Good enough, sure. Yeah, you make the cut. We need Cole Caulfield to start growing here, too. What is this clown doing? He's got 78 overall. Let's go, bud. Pick it up. You know what? You know what? Should we just say screw it? Should we call him up? You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to freaking do it. I'm going to see if he fits in the lineup anywhere. If I have to move some players to the fourth line so that he can play third or second, screw it. I'm going to do it. Let's... <laughs> You're just going bold strategy here. Okay, so I want to send down Kober, and he didn't really fit the chemistry. I want to send down Ouellette. And I think that's it. So there we go. Let's go ahead and make that move. Caulfield's going to be stuck in the NHL if we do that, though. That's the only issue. Yeah, I'm doing it. Screw it. Here we go. Let's go. And... Oh, wait, no. I, I guess we could... If he doesn't fit in the lineup, we could send him down, I think, because the season hasn't started yet. Or there's like a cutoff date, I think, for stuff like that. I'm not really sure. But anyway. Who don't? It's getting scratched for Cole Caulfield. Yes, please. There we have it. All right, where can Caulfield fit in? Can he be on the first line? He actually can. It would be the same chemistry, but I don't know if I want to do that. That'd make that line a... Ooh, why? All right. That line doesn't get along very well. Bozak can play fourth line. I'm down with that. So, Toffoli... What player is Toffoli? He's a sniper too. Damn! Man, this is this is tough. Huh. Actually, if I do that, then it's zeros. But I kind of want that plus one. That was nice. If I move Simmons up, it's a plus one. If I move Bozak up, it's a minus one. So many. This chemistry stuff is just ridiculous to me. Um, I might have to just play Toffoli on the, on the fourth line. He is making how much money? He's 4.15 for three years. Maybe I'll put him here. And then I'll put him on, like, first-line power play, though. Or second-line power play. So, he gets, you know, gets some minutes in there still. Yeah, maybe we'll do something like that. Okay. Defense, still good there. Goaltending, we've got Primo with Stolarz as the backup. Who's in the AHL? Skinner? He's listed as minor starter, so I'm going to leave him here for now. And, yeah, hopefully he will grow a little bit. I think I've seen him get up to, like, 84 overall before, so... Maybe we can unlock that potential, hopefully. I don't know what it is about this first line, but man, they just don't really get along. Okay. Well, Sanford, Armia, and Caulfield, plus one. Simmons, Bozak, Toffoli, plus one. Druen, Suzuki, Anderson, plus five. And then our first line is just zero. <laughs> Great. And then we've got good defense, goaltending. So let's go to specialty teams. Four-man power play. Why is that the first option? Oh, power play is the first option. Okay. So, we got plus one here, and Toffoli is second line power play. I'm gonna move him up here. I'm gonna move him to the wing, actually. Gallagher can play back. And, yeah, maybe... Let's do that. So, Toffoli will be first line uh, power play with... I think Anderson would be better on defense. Let's try that. Okay. Sure. I'm just kind of throwing things together here. 
please do not kill me. I'm just doing, <laughs> trying my best here, okay? So this is the four man power play. We get a plus one with Kakanyemi and Sanford. What if I put Toffoli up here as well? Because I don't want him to fade out too much. Oh, that doesn't really work. Hmm. Tatar. Uh, whatever. I think Toffoli will be fine. We're not going to get too many four-man power play situations, so that's that's okay. Penalty kill seems to be okay. I think I'm going to put Bozak here instead. Uh, change in current line. That gives that a plus one, so yes. That's good. Three-man PK. Bozak, and then, oh my word. That is rough. Kakanyemi. What about if I... Hey. Okay. Interesting. Who has really good face-offs and would not mind killing penalties? 67. Uh, no, no, no. No one here really. Cockle's got 72. Interesting. And what about... I didn't even check our centers. We only got... Suzuki and Bozak. Um, okay, well, I'll put Suzuki back out there. Or will I? What about left wingers? Do we have any left wingers that know how to take damn face-offs? 70, 70... 65. No, we don't. Alright. I guess we have to. Suzuki, get back out there. Change in the current line. Then we gotta do something about this. Maybe I'll take... What if I... That makes that minus one. And then I could take out Sherratt, perhaps. Or do I want to do that, though? Joel Edmondson. Who do we have on defense? Who's our other defenseman? Left defense... Victor Mete, how would you do here? Also minus three. Great. Okay. What if I take out Edmondson as well? Is he the one causing the issue? And put in Gostas Bear, who is an offensive defenseman, but... Oh, uh, okay. Well, I guess having one minus one as your second line three-man PK is not the end of the world. Because once again, it's really probably not going to happen that often, so we should be okay. All right. I don't like this. I really do not like this zero here. It bothers me immensely, but there's nothing I can really do about it. I probably could with one of these guys. Yeah, like moving that up would make it a plus one, but that plus five is like necessary. <laughs> it's It must happen because that's going to make that line just so much better. Maybe I will do that. Maybe I'll move Zach Sanford up to this line and then we'll have him playing with Tatar, who's a left winger slash right winger. So we can play on that side. And then Gallagher can play with Caulfield. That kind of works. That kind of works. I'm down with that. We got three right shooting players here. Or Yeah, it might be an issue, but which, which way does Bozak shoot? He's also right. He's right. Since when do this many people shoot right? Tell me. When? Whatever. Okay. I'll take that. That's a little bit better. I know people might be upset that I'm playing Gallagher here, but he's going to be playing with Caulfield and Armia. It's going to be all right, you know? It's going to work, hopefully. Just living on a prayer here. And let's go to the AHL. Best lines. Yep. So I want Evans to get the most experience here, for sure. Paling is 22. I want him to get a lot of time as well. Let's see if we can fit him up here somewhere. Oh, we also got Lekkinen, who... Ah, uh, he's 75 overall. He doesn't seem... To be growing too much, which is unfortunate. Do we have any other young players here who kind of have a shot? Oh my, wait, who is that? Oh, we got Dylan Holloway. I forgot. We made a trade for him, didn't we? That makes that plus one. I'm going to do it. Okay, Arturi Lekkinen. If I move, I saw a plus one for everything somewhere, I think. No, maybe not. Maybe I'm crazy. Sherwood is 26. We can just do that, sure. That, that'll work, fine. I'll take that, plus one everywhere, and then we get Holloway, some line one AHL minutes, and same with Evans, and then Paling can play, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, now we're talking, hell yeah, two plus threes, AHL team's gonna be insane, alright, cool, 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 what can we do here now, do we have any extra defensemen, we got this guy, Leskinen, he's 24, and... Oh, Shunman, Sh uh, uh, Corey <laughs> is 26. So, well, how old are these guys? 28, 27. Kulak is only 75. So I'm going to take out Kulak actually. And left defense. I'm going to throw in this guy. Yes. 
There we go. Minus one, not the end of the world. Just got to find something that makes it work, maybe. That will work. Coburn with this guy. Mm, this also works. So there we go. Ulet, who is 28, will be playing with Otto. Yep. Okay. That'll work just fine. I don't want to... If I move him up, it's still plus one. So you know what? I'm going to give him the extra minutes instead. And what about our goaltending? We got Skinner and Ward, who is 20 years of age. AHL, medium starter. Do we not have any other goalies? I guess not. Lovely. Oh, well. Okay, I think our team's going to be good. AHL team looks mint. NHL team looks all right. Let's get to simulating. I believe we've got a team here that has potential. Will we make the playoffs? I don't know. Probably not. But it's got a shot, at least. We got that plus one now. We're going to try getting Caulfield some minutes. And we're also going to try getting that AHL team. So just a lot of victories. So we can help Holloway. We can help Skinner. We can help Lekkonen. And we can help Jake Evans as much as possible. So I don't know how this is going to pan out, but I'm hoping for the best here. Montreal with a great preseason so far. Salary cap compliance. 4-2-1. and one. Lost to the Boston Bruins there to finish off the preseason. Let's see how this season goes. Come on, boys. Fire me up. We're going to start 0-2, aren't we? Oh, 0-1-1. It's better than 0-2. I mean, it's not great, but... Oh, there we go. 0-2-1. Lovely. This is outstanding hockey. Hurricanes 4-0, Penguins 4-0, and we can't win a damn hockey game. I mean, our goalie's probably not helped. Well, he's not letting in a whole lot of goals, actually, so, oh, I take that back. 7-3 loss to Buffalo. Not great. Nice of water. Holy smokes. Big win for the, or I was going to say for the Jackets. No, big win for the Canadians over the Jackets. We are 3-3-4. Three, three, and four. I'm starting to think that maybe chemistry is just not worth it <laughs> at this point. Maybe that plus five will just be a big screw that. Or maybe we should just throw this year, try to get a high draft pick, and hope for the best. I don't know. I guess we'll get up to the trade deadline and see, but I think at that point we're pretty much going to be down and out already. 4-11-4. We absolutely stink this is not good oh this is probably hurting a lot of morale too so i'm gonna stop simulation for now stop 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 hold the phone go look at our lines we got 15 points in 22 games from cock and yemi all right you know what i think i'm gonna have to do it guys i think i'm gonna have to break up the what the hell no wonder we're losing what the heck happened man I swear I have that set to no. Do not edit my lines. That's like the golden rule. I don't know. I'd be under rules maybe. I don't even know. Head coach edit lines. Is that here? Head coach edit lines. No. Stop. Minor league edit lines. No. I have to do it all again. Why, dude? I. It's probably because I went and did best lines. It's like the coach can help. You want to turn this on? And I probably hit yes. Oh my. This is a joke. All right, well then. Oh, time to reconstruct everything. Sanford was up here. Druen was down here. We had Suzuki up here. Anderson was here. I don't even remember what we had here. We had Caulfield. How did Arturi Lekkinen get called up? You're able to move the rosters too? I hate this. <laughs> I am pissed right now. This is so irritating. In the system... Where the hell is Caulfield? Yeah, you're coming up. You are coming up to the damn NHL. And we need to send some people down. I don't know who that's going to be. It's going to be Sherratt. That's for sure. Uh, it's going to be Ouellette. And it's going to be Lekkonen. Get out of my damn face. In the system, is there anyone else we need to call up? I want to say no. Okay, well anyway. There we go. Uh, confirm. Yep. Screw it. What a joke. Time to edit the lines all over again because this game has a thing that makes me turn the coach thing on all the time. So Caulfield was second line here. We had Anderson here. Suzuki was here. Sanford up on the first line. Druen was on the second line. Gallagher was here with Armia 
and Caulfield. To Foley will be playing with the Wayne Train and Bozak. Okay. So now I don't know whether I should break up this plus three or not. Or plus five. I, I guess we'll not for now. And then we'll come back to it later. That is very, very irritating. Okay. Um, let's go to specialty teams. So I wanted to move to Foley up. He can take Druen's spot there. Uh, and then we also need to go to the four-man power play. I think I moved Sanford up here. And then I took out Suzuki. No. Wasn't. I think I just left it like that, which is fine. Good enough. Penalty kill. Plus one, plus one. I'm just going to freaking leave it. Three-man PK. Sure. Whatever. Yeah. I don't really care at this point. It doesn't help if I move. Nope. That actually hurts it even more. What about Coburn? No. All right. Whatever. I just, I'm so over this right now. I cannot believe this game just did that to me again. Best lines and starting line. Technically, it's kind of my fault, but Barkley Goudreau. Guy's lighting it up. I need to move Paling up to the second line here. He was here. Perry was on the first line. With who, though? Oh, my gosh. Jake Evans was second line center. And we had Holloway up on the first line, I believe. So I'll take out... Uh, I don't want to take out McGinn. Dono. No. Byron. Yeah, Byron, you can come out. Screw you. All right. Holloway, get in there. Yep. And put him on the first line. Uh, who was on the first line center then? That gave that line a damn plus three. This is going to drive me insane. I need to get that plus threes back. Lekkonen was... Where was Lekkonen? Oh my gosh, I wish I took a picture of what the lines were. Because now I'm never going to be able to get them back. Okay, there's that plus three. So, Wheel, Holloway, Perry, plus three. And now i got to figure out how I made this line a plus three. Was it Sherwood? No. It was, Evans was definitely up here, I think. Was Lekkonen also up here? No. Let's go through all of this. No, no, no. I found a way to make this line a plus three. But then that makes this line a minus one. Uh, no, that doesn't help. No. Okay. Dude, this is so annoying. Um, I'll take that plus three. I don't really care if the second line is, like, uh, third line's a plus three, but man. We, I know we had it. That's what makes me the most angry. We had it somewhere, and now I can't figure it out. Who scratched? Was it maybe someone that was scratched? No, they don't look familiar. Mm, no. No. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to settle for a plus one for now. I'm going to have to go back in the recording and see what it was, because that's going to piss me off. But I can't do that right now, unfortunately, while I am recording. Uh, I'm just going to keep trying to screw some stuff around here to see if I can get a plus three there again. But I think I'm just SOL at this point, because I'm almost positive I had Paling, actually, now, Paling was definitely on the second line. And I think he was on the left side. And then there was someone over here. But no matter what I do, it isn't freaking working. And now the menus are taking forever to respond. Okay. Well, I don't know. I guess it is what it is. We're just going to have to deal with it. Unfortunate, but, you know, what can you do? Sherwood. Wait, wasn't Sherwood? Maybe Sherwood was part of that somewhere. Kiefer Sherwood. No? I guess not. And if I move him to the left side? No, that wasn't it. Goudreau up here? No. I swear I had Jake Evans on the first line, though, and that gave it plus whatever. Okay, so there's a plus three combination. I, <laughs> I will figure this out. I'm going to do it. If it's the last thing I do, and it very well may be. Houdon. Uh, no, that's not it. Dono. No. What if I move McGinn up? Nope. That's also not it. Alright, I think I'm actually officially about to give up. It was fun while it lasted, but... It's just not having it right now. Okay, well... Paling, you're getting demoted. Screw you. <laughs> you can... No, I don't want to do that to him. He can play here with plus one. And then... 
I just want to try... That gives that a plus one, but then that breaks this line. Uh, if I do that, no, still the same thing. McGinn for Goudreau. Makes it even. Uh, sure, whatever. I'll, I'll take that. I suppose. It's not as good as it was, but it will have to do. I'm going to go literally look at the editing right now. Or the recording. Can I do that? Can I play the recording while I'm, you know, actually recording? No, I don't think I can in, uh, in OBS. Or, sorry. In-game capture HD. Okay, well, you're coming out, I believe. Or not. Maybe I just moved them around somewhere. I swear we're, like, missing players, too. Like, I'm so confused. Very... Very unfortunate. Whatever. Yeah, you can play there. Good enough. And then our goaltendings. Skinner. Backed up by Ward. And starting line, we have Holloway, Jake Evans, Perry, Wheel, Paling. Uh, is there a way to do this without screwing everything up? I'm going to try it. I'm going to freaking try it. One sec. I'm going back. I'm going back in the recording here to figure out what that damn line combination was. And I will get to the bottom of this. If it's the last thing I freaking do. I keep saying I'm going to give up. Uh, but then I don't. So I'm thinking that I'm probably lying. And I'm not going to give up. Move back. Okay. Let me watch this. I'm watching my moves right now. I believe Corey Perry ended up on like the second line or the first line for sure. Was it Byron? I see Byron in the lineup right now. No, maybe. Holloway's on the first line. Yeah. Oh, I think it was Byron. Hold on. Yeah, okay. I've got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got him. So, here's what it was. Paling was on the first line. And it was him, Evans, and Holloway. Which is a plus one now. Are you kidding me? It's the same line. Okay, whatever. I Now I give up. That's just dumb. That is just dumb. Okay. Screw it. Going back. And I'm just going to keep simulating. That is big lame. We are 5, 13, and 4. At least our lines are what I wanted them to be now. Will it make a big difference? Unlikely. However, we will see. And I'm going to sim up to the deadline no matter how awful we are doing. Because we have to make a move here for the rebuild. I'm officially calling it, okay? We are not in a position to be making the playoffs. And even if we were, we would not be making a deep run. Our first line, just simply not there. Our second line is good. It's great. But it can only do so much. And we do have some decent depth. But it's not enough to get the job done. Yeah, we are really, really actually just hurting our players here. And it's hurting me as a result. Come on, try to get some more wins. At least. At least try to get, I don't know, like as many wins as losses at the end of the year. You know, like 500, I suppose. Maybe not, like, I... Just as many wins as losses, overtime losses, I'll disregard. But if we could finish with, you know, like 30... Wins 30 losses. <laughs> like, wait, no, that wouldn't work at all. 35, 35 maybe? Or something like that? No, we are definitely not on pace for that. We suck. We absolutely suck. What have I done to this poor team? You know what? I'm gonna... Okay, hold the phone. Hold the damn phone. I'm getting rid of that plus five. Second line's doing great. Yeah, yeah. How is Gallagher leading the team? How is this possible? Oh, my word. Okay, well, I'm breaking that plus five. This line is very good, but it's just not working. So, there. Yeah, Sanford, I'm moving you down to... Ooh, Caulfield on the second line would be a plus three. Then we can have... Okay. All right. I'm kind of down with that. And I can move Joanne up, but I'm going to leave Tatar for now. Okay, let's do that. Yep, we're still going to suck big time, but... At least we're, you know, we're, 
trying to figure out some chemistry here, I suppose. It's not really going to help us in the future, I don't think, because a lot of these players probably won't be here. But one can hope that these little line changes can make a difference. And apparently, they, well, we won two in a row, and then got slapped, and then got slapped again, and then got slapped again. Just a miserable year from the Canadians, guys. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? We need to... Yeah, I, I said it a minute ago. Saying it now, we are officially in a rebuild. <laughs> we are rebuilding this damn team because we suck. We need to try and get some first-line players, which we currently do not have. And we have some bad contracts still, I think. Like, Paul Byron is making... A decent amount of money, and I'm pretty sure I scratched him in the AHL. <laughs> or he's in the AHL, I don't remember. But either way, yeah, it's not good. Not good at all. Alright guys, I'm going to show you the roster. I need a lot of suggestions here. If we should just continue throwing this year, get a good draft pick, and, you know, put him in the lineup next year, or what we should do, but... I also want you to let me know if there's any players you think we should trade away. It really doesn't help that we also have an 81 overall goaltender, you know? It's just not ideal. Druen's at 49 points now. There you go. boy Johnny. Not bad. Still not good, but I suppose not so bad. Kakanyemi with 43. Tatar, 40. And they're all minus players. Our defense. Bowen Byram's probably taking a big hit. No, he's still 87. He only has 15. What are you doing, Bowen? Holy man. Yeah, we just absolutely suck. It's the only way I can describe this team right now is we suck. So I'm going to show you the contracts. Who the hell should we get rid of? Or should we just leave the team as is, continue throwing this year? We're still... Kakanyemi's growing still, which is nice. Caulfield's at 81, so he's growing. Maybe we should just leave it. And then... Try to... Yeah... Just get a good draft pick. Suzuki's going to want a big contract. Oh, boy. We do have cap space, though. So I can probably offer an extension now. Oh, he doesn't even want that much. 4.25 for five years? Yeah, man. Absolutely, I will give you that. All right. He wants to sign, too. So that's great news. We got Coburn here. Yeah, I don't really care. Flurry doesn't want to re-sign. I mean, I, I don't blame you. I don't know why Suzuki does, but I'm more than... Willing to re-sign him. Hopefully, Primo... Okay. So, is he just not going to grow? Is he going to be, like, a career backup here? Or what's the deal? He's 22. I'm going to... I'm going to just lock him in super long-term. If he's a really long-term backup, that's still a good deal. So, I'm going to... I'm going to try doing it. 1.5 million for a backup is really not bad. So, there you go. I don't know. I can't really advance a day because we're at the trade deadline now. And we suck. So, should we continue throwing? You know what? I'm just going to go. We're just going to throw. We're just going to throw. We're going to do it. I'm going all the way. I don't care. We're not making the playoffs. Just commit to it at this point. There's not much we can do in the next video anyway where I would need to ask for your guys... Advice, so I'm just going to continue simming. Hopefully we get those two contracts signed. That would be massive, getting Suzuki and Primo. But we do really, really, really need a good draft pick this year. And Caulfield's growing. We need to hope that there's some stud in free agency so that we can beef up our... What's it called? Beef up our first line. Because right now... oh. Yes, there we go. We got them both. That Primo contract is an absolute robbery. Even if he doesn't end up growing. I mean, he's medium starter, 22 years of age. Even if he doesn't end up growing, still a steal. So I'm super down with that. Okay. 81 overall backup at 1.5 million is good. <laughs> and he has a lot of potential to grow. So he might. We will see. And I need more water. Get out of here, Scout. 24, 37, and 10. What a team we have here. We are making... Why are we doing good now? We're not doing good, but... We're doing better than we were. That's for sure. Big win over the Kings. 7-3. Okay. Yeah, the anti-throw. That's how it is. EA Sports, it's in the game. Whenever you're doing good, 
up to the trade deadline. You start doing horrendous after the trade deadline. Whenever you're doing awful up to the trade deadline, you just rip it up after. We literally did nothing. I can't stand this simulation engine, man. Oh, it's so gear grinding. Whatever. Season has ended. We didn't make the playoffs. Obviously, no surprise there. Our AHL team probably did very well, which is great. And they lost morale, but they... Okay, never mind. They made it past round one. Keep going. Keep going. Laval. Let's see how they go. Oh, they're gaining morale now. Made it to round number three. Absolutely slaying it down there. Good job, guys. I mean, you do have the most stacked team in the league, I would say. So hopefully it works out for you. And will they win the Calder Cup? It looks like maybe they got morale. Oh, no, the Grand Rapids Griffin stole it from them. You absolute weasels. That's lame. All right, let's see what draft pick we get. What draft pick do we we get but i also want to check out the points first here mostly the ahl and i kind of want to also see so druin's 86 overall he was down to like 83 so he went back up which is nice kakanyemi's at 86 suzuki 83 that's fine still only 22 tatar 85 kind of want to trade tatar I'm not gonna lie but um that's a battle for another day i suppose anderson with 53 is at 83 overall Gallagher, 85. Goss, Despair, Caulfield. Oh, there we go. There we go. 85 overall, Cole Caulfield. Going to be our number one right winger next year. Yes, sir. Yes, he will. 31 goals and 12 assists in 60 games played. Pure goal scorer. Oh, man. I'm excited for that now. Here we go. That's massive. Byram, no idea what the hell this guy was doing. But regardless, it's neither here nor there. And yeah, I'm just pumped about Caulfield. That is sick. Absolutely sick. What if we go to goalies? I doubt Primo went up from 81. No, he's still 81. That's okay. Um, all skaters. Okay, I'll, let's just show you the, the lead quick. So you guys can see what happened here. McKinnon, 112. Eichel, 110. Patty Kane, 109. Okay, there you have it. And I guess I can show you the awards quick as well. Here are the team awards. Florida with the Stanley Cup. McKinnon, Eichel, Dalene. Got McKinnon. Cousins winning the Calder. Huberto winning the Conn Smythe. Bobrovsky with the Jennings and the Vesna. Bill Masterton goes to Zadorov. Not even going to give that a go, but he wins the Jack Adams. Taves, Eichel, and Mack. All right. Cool. Very neat. Yeah, we got a draft coming up here. Yes, we do. Let's see how it goes. I, I think I might actually... I'm pretty sure I'm going to trade Tatar, honestly. But we'll we'll see what happens here. Sim to draft. Please don't shaft us on the lottery. Where are we? Oh my... We, really? That many teams did worse than us? Okay. Well, we're not getting a good pick. <laughs> I want to view the draft class before we go in. But Jumbo Joe, 1,566 points. What a career from the man retiring at the age of 42. Any goalies? Retiring this year, nothing really, but I do want to stop the simulation so I can view the draft class. Okay, okay, and go to draft class. Nice. Let's see what we got here. Medium elite, Shane Wright. Yeah, he is going to be a good player to take. So is um, Savoie. I think he's medium elite as well. And... Uh, strength of competition, A+. Plus, and he put up 3 points, 13 goals. So, that guy also looks pretty good. But, yeah, it looks like we're not going to make it to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. So, it's unlikely that Savoie will still be there. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do. This guy, strength of competition, A+. Plus, strength of competition, C-. minus. That's why he got so many points. B. So really, our best bet here would be this Cam Beats guy, who is a two-way defenseman. Uh, but yeah, I really know that Savoie pans out. Look at how many points he got. 127 points, I think that is. Holy crap. All right, even if the competition is a C, that's insane. This guy's an enforcer. 
Status competition A+. Plus. I, I would probably draft this guy. Okay, well... I don't think I'm going to try moving up in the draft. I think I'm just going to take what we got. And let's start it. My least favorite thing to do, guys, is the draft. So let's, let's do it anyway. Sim to pick 10. Did he go? Savoie did go. 76 overall. And yeah, it's just basically all medium elites. So we didn't miss out on too much. Medium top four defenseman in that guy. We're probably going to get a medium top six, honestly. I wouldn't be surprised. I doubt we're going to get a medium elite. He had a C minus, so no. Yeah, I didn't even realize that strength of competition thing. That's very cool. Okay. A plus. This guy had C minus. A plus. Uh, should we just go based off the scout recommendation? And Oh, I don't even know what that flag is. That is very cool. I, I want to draft him now. Hmm. I think we should just take the first guy here. He's going to be a medium top four, I'm almost sure of it. But anyway, let's pick him up. Cam Beats, let's go. He is medium top four, 69 overall. Oh, 70 overall, medium top six, and pick. Uh, medium top four, 76. Great. I love that for me. Anyway, sim to our next pick, which is round number two. What can we get? Probably not a lot. Strength competition, A+. plus. Well, I mean, he didn't really do much, even though it was competition was good this guy oh c minus so yeah i can totally understand that now it makes sense strength competition d yeah no wonder you had so many points thanks for pointing that out guys i really had no idea that even existed it's my first time paying any attention to that okay should i try to get like a goalie maybe maybe steal attendee strength of competition a minus he had a 903 293 eight wins I mean, seems pretty good. I'm going to risk it. Junior, I'm going to take a shot here. You better pay off. <laughs> sure. Make a pick. Boom. And he is a medium elite goaltender. 48 overall. You love to see it. Okay, we just got our goalie of the future, guys. Right then and there. Quality stuff here. And let's try to find some decent stats with a decent, decent. <laughs> I love when I'm making videos and I suddenly can't talk. I swear I never have this many problems talking until I start recording. It's absolutely insane, but it just works out that way. Come on. Give me some good competition strength here, guys, with some decent stats. Are you joking? Um, nope. <laughs> Not going to take him. Another A plus. No. A plus, Ricky Pettinger, no. This guy had A. Oh my gosh, I'm going to take another goalie, aren't I? 903, 290, two shutouts, strength competition A. Screw it. Screw it, I'm doing it. Here we go. Another goalie, we can trade him if necessary. Medium elites, let's go. Let's go. All right. So now that is two players of high trade value. Could trade one of our goalies now. Neat. That guy had C- minus and did not put up any stats. So, that's a no from me, Chief. Um, Zaitsev. You know what? There was one guy here. This guy had A+. Plus. He didn't put up any points, but he only played 10 minutes a game. Let's just risk it. See what he is. Probably going to be not good, but... Medium top 9. Grinder. I'm actually very down for that. I'll take that as a... I'll take that as a win. In my books. Okay, this draft going good so far. Where the hell did this come from? Zygamanis put up points, but he had C- minus competition. Um, yeah, he's not going to be good, I bet. Just a random shot in the dark there, but looking at the stats and everything, that's my prediction. Bobkov, I've seen a guy named Bobkov. I think it was in my Be a Pro that turned out pretty good. He had competition of A, put up 5 assists, only 11 minutes time on ice, so sure, why not? Let's take him. Low top nine. Meh. Could have been worse, I suppose. Like, what are other people getting at this point? Low top seven. Back up. Seven. Low elite. Krogh. They got a low elite player here in the sixth round. Highway robbery. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do we got left? Strength competition D. Okay. So, yeah, this is actually really helping me draft this strength of competition thing. I mean, it's very hard to find players now because there's so many... 
criteria that they have to meet. But it's it's definitely helping us get a better prospect pool. That's for sure. The last draft was miserable. And no A plus no. Langenbrunner had you now he played against D minus competition. This guy played against D competition, so no. Probably not going to be any good. Like I don't need A per se. <laughs> it's a rhyme, but you know if you're gonna be playing against like at least B or something and put up decent points, I would say you're good. Maybe we're getting down there now in the draft where it's pretty difficult to start finding steals. Like this guy C minus. Didn't do too great. A plus, 14 pims, nothing else. Um, A plus, and he had these. I'm going to screw it. Goalies have been working out. Then we have people to trade. So if he works out, he did not. He's an AHL starter. That's certainly a rough go. I think it's our last pick of the draft. I'm still not upset, though. Like We could pick the biggest bust in the draft right now, and I really don't care because we have been doing pretty good so far. And that's good enough for me. Okay, well, you know what? Let's sort by this rank again. There's not even scout recommendations at this point. Or is there? Maybe I'm looking at the wrong thing. Oh, yeah, because there's question marks. So let's sort this way. Yeah, there it is. All right, I'm just going to trust you on this one. A plus and was a minus four. Sure. Osala, welcome aboard. Medium bottom six. I mean, you could possibly pan out. Uh, oh, we have another pick. I guess we picked up. A seventh pick. Maybe we were doing a cap dump. Lombardi. C minus. A plus. This guy's the one. For sure. It's going to be sick. He is a seventh defenseman. I will take it. Can still be good enough to potentially make it to the show. So, yeah. There we go. Pretty good draft. Got two medium elite um, defense... Or, sorry, goaltenders. And then we also got a medium top six forward in there as well. Probably, like, the lowest overall one we could have possibly gotten, but, you know, still there. And I don't think we have too many contracts to re-sign, but we're going to have to look. And then, we'll see what's available in free agency. Druen, can I offer him an extension? No, I cannot yet. Goss Despair, also, no, he's up to 85. There you go, Ghost, Sanford, so we're good. Contracts, contracts. Coburn, not going to re-sign you for now. Sherratt, what do you want? You were okay for our team, I think. I'll undercut you a little bit there. Hopefully you say, sure. Flurry needs a contract. Doesn't want a lot. So I don't think he's going to grow out to be too much. But I'll take him for four years. Because even like third pair defensemen end up being expensive. So I think that would still be a good deal for him. We have $20 million of cap space. So we do have some money to try and get free agents. McGinn, probably not going to make the team unless he wants a two-way. So nope. Kulak doesn't want to re-sign. Goudreau probably also does not want a two-way anymore. So those guys, I'm going to have to let them go. Evans, please want a two-way contract. Yes. Lovely. Love this guy. Certified beautician. Definitely. Brooke wants to re-sign. Medium top four. Wants a two-way contract. 23 years of age. I didn't even see this guy. We got to get him some ice time. There you go. Nice. Okay. Didn't even know we had a... Defensive prospect there. Oh, Lambos. Yeah, he's 72 overall now. I forgot we drafted this guy as well, did we not? Yeah, I think he was our draft last year. Ninth overall. Medium elite. Huh. Should we sign him or should we wait another year? He's only 72 overall. Maybe we'll wait another year for now. But that also, you know, you guys can provide feedback on that. Whether you think we should wait or whether we should sign him. This guy, medium top six. We absolutely need to sign him to an entry-level contract now. There you go. And anyone else down here? Cam Beats, I'm not going to sign you yet. Nesterov, top four. Yep, I'll give you your contract. There you have it. He can probably play in the AHL this year. 68 overall. We'll make it work. Going to try to really get some growth going in the system there. Medium top six. 65 overall. I mean, it doesn't really hurt. I'll give you a contract, I guess. Sure, you as well. Boom, there you go. I don't know if there's anyone else here, so no. Uh, no, don't really care. Nope, don't really care. Nope, don't really care. Decent. Goalies. Primo, we just signed long-term. Oh yeah, we have a lot of goalies, I forgot. Fringe starter and Hudobin, 61 overall. I think I'm willing to let him walk. Stellaris doesn't want to resign. you can go as well. 
Medium starter. 71 overall. Sure, why not? I'll give you a contract. There you go. And Goche, medium fringe starter. I guess I'll offer you a contract as well. Sure, you guys can be the AHL tandem. And then Stuart Skinner, who is AD overall. And Primo, who's 81 overall, can be our NHL goaltenders. Yay. Great goaltending. Okay, well, let's advance a day. If anyone says no, then we'll... Okay, so Sherratt said no. Flurry, we got... Okay. I, so I think we're going to get everyone. Yep. Okay. Okay. We got everyone except for Sherratt. So I'm going to try him one more time. Because I feel like he, you know, is decent to have around the team here. I'll just give you exactly what you're asking for. Come on, don't be a weasel. Oh my gosh, he's going to be that guy. And it's just, like, I probably should just let him go, but it's going to bother me. <laughs> if I don't end up getting him now. Because I guess, you know what, 1.6 for an 80 overall defenseman. This absolute rat. It just pisses me off and makes me want to... Join the damn team. There you go. Come on, if he says no to that... Okay, I was going to say, after that, I'm letting him go. Screw that. But he signed. Okay. Send to free agency, I guess. We have everyone we need. And we are ready to rumble, I think, in free agency. We have some money. And wait, did that say something about too many contracts? View contracts. How many do we have? We have a total of... How do I see? Oh, 44. So no, we still have uh, space for sure. Okay. $18 million of cap space. We could technically... Because I want to trade Tatar as well. I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I want to trade Tatar. Caulfield will be up on line one. Tatar is a left winger, I believe. But yeah, he's left wing slash right wing. He's also a sniper though, right? Because we got Caulfield for that first line position now. And he can... Uh, I guess I'll leave it up to you guys. You think we should trade Tatar? He does have a lot of value. So if we're going to move him, now's the time. And if we should move him, what should we move him for? Caulfield, there he is. He went up to high elite. He went up to high elite. 85 overall. Holy crap. Yo, he's going to be a unit. He is going to be an absolute unit. We need to get a left winger for this guy. Like a certified left winger. And then centers. Yeah, Kak and Yemi can play with them. And then we also got Suzuki. Okay, okay. Things are looking good. You know what, guys? I think we can make a push this year coming up. Holy crap. What a turn of events. What do we have for defensemen, though? Uh, ooh. That's rough. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, it's not awful. I mean, we could sign a free agent defenseman as well. Or trade Tatar for a defenseman. And then sign a left winger. I guess it depends on who's in free agency. So, free agents. Who be here? We've got Matthew Kachuk, left winger. $10 million, though. It's a little crazy, if you ask me. Zabenejad, center. We don't really need a center. I think we're good for centers. I'm going to put my faith in Kakanyemi to grow. So I think he will. He's going to be an RFA, isn't he? Yeah, so we can't really go after Kachuk anyway. Um, Forsberg. Could go after Forsberg. But he wants a lot of money. Nine million bucks. But we do have the cap, I suppose. And then goalies. Is there any goalies here? Marc-Andre Fleury. Tuka Rask. We could sign a goalie to like a... A deal here to try and win the cup if we wanted to go that route. Even Crawford at 2.7 or DeSmith at 83. And then play Stewart in the AHL again. So lots of options guys here. Please comment about this. I need your opinions and your feedback regarding this. For sure. But yeah, I'll keep scrolling down. Show you the other players. Lindholm, Hurdle, Raquel. Okay, there's a bunch of players here. Potentials. Even Bertuzzi. Well, I wouldn't say he's like a certified First line left winger to play with. Um, what's his name? I'm drawing a blank right now. Caulfield. With a Caulfield. But yeah. So there you go. There's the free agents, guys. We got $18 million of cap space. I also showed you the goaltending. Uh, just to be extra safe, I'm going to show you only UFAs. So I'll just scroll down again quick. These are all of our options. Who the hell do we sign? And do we trade away... Tomas Tatar. And what should we go after if we do trade him? Do we sign defenseman here? Do we sign a winger here and trade Tatar for a defenseman? Tons of options. Let me know. Please let me know. 
All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. This one was a very long one. I think it's about an hour or so, maybe just under. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Lots of ups and downs in this video. And I think, I think we are going to have a good team. I think we are.